mind and your patient nature. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Strands of Grace. Thank you once again for tuning in. So today's video is going to be a fun one. Well, I think it's kind of fun because I had an interesting and good time going through all of my footage of college and just the pictures that I have, the videos that I have, the videos that my friends have given me just so that I can really portray to y'all what my college experience was. So today I'm going to be talking about how to stay grounded as a Christian in college and this is something that is really really tough to do if you don't know how to do it and if you don't have the right resources and you don't have the right people around you it might be almost impossible to stay grounded as a christian in college if you don't form that community at the college you're attending so i'm just going to give y'all some tips on how to stay grounded as a christian in college and also share a bit of my experience and how i got kind of acclimated to the college culture so first of all i want to say that if it is your desire to stay grounded as a christian in college that is a totally awesome desire. I know a lot of teenagers just don't have that desire. If they have grown up in church, they kind of see college as an opportunity to break free from their parents. They don't have to go to church if they don't want to and they can just kind of do what they want to do. Um, some people may not have that family church background but they still want to pursue God in college and and some people really have a relationship with God in high school and and they want to go forth into college and maintain that relationship. So yeah, Throughout my college experience, I was able to maintain my relationship with God, but I had to make sure that I was very mindful in, in staying close to God by making sure that my environment could foster my relationship with the Lord. The first tip I would give you is when you get to college, find friends, okay? Now this might be a super simple tip like, okay, you want me to find friends? Yes find friends and I wouldn't even necessarily say you got to find those Christian friends you do but the thing with being in college and being a freshman is usually a lot of freshmen go to college and don't know anybody there and so this is a perfect opportunity for you to just get to know people I know when I was in college I would go to the calf and I would just sit with somebody or I would just invite somebody to sit with me who I felt like was a freshman. And when you're a freshman, you really don't have those cliques yet. People haven't really formed their friend groups. So people tend to be a little bit friendlier when it comes to making friends. So find friends. Once you find the fringe, you will probably start to see what their values are, what they're interested in. If you're hanging out with these friends and you see that they're not the kind of people that you really want to hang out with, they're not the circle that you really want to run with, it's okay. Find some more. And this might, I might be sounding like this is overly simple, but if you would just have courage and step out there and just be nice to someone, there's a saying that says you got to be a friend to, to have a friend. You know, you got to be a friend to make a friend. And so just just be inviting. I know for me, I personally hung out with some people the first few weeks of college who weren't really my crowd. They weren't necessarily bad people, but they weren't my crowd. They weren't my type of people, but I did enjoy just getting to know them until I really found my group of people. So the next thing is try your best to find out when the next organization fair is. So at an organization fair, you get to see all like all or most of the organizations on campus and most campuses have bible studies most campuses have christian organizations that you can join i'll put a picture right here this is actually a picture of the organization i was in in college called bethel campus fellowship it was a very um, fruitful time for me and i learned so much in that campus ministry but i actually got plugged into that campus ministry as soon as i got to college i would say by the time september rolled around i went to college in august by the time september rolled around i was attending bible studies and campus org fairs are where you will typically find those organizations and usually at the beginning of the year you'll see a lot of organizations advertising on campus so depending on the college you go to it shouldn't be too hard to find um, an organization that best fits your spiritual beliefs. So the next thing I would do is really stay consistent in going to church. So something that I ran into a lot in college is I would ask people, hey, what church do you go to? And they'll be like, oh, I go to the church. I go to my home church. It's in Charlotte. Or I go to my home church. It's in High Point. And um, I'm like, okay, none of these churches are in Greensboro. And so I really found that there was a pattern of people saying, yeah, I go to church, but they're 
church was their home church, which they don't regularly attend anymore since they're in college. And so really make an effort to find a church that is in your college city. This is what I did when I first got to college. I did not know anybody. I actually didn't meet my good group of friends until September, like a month into college, which is actually really awesome that God uh, provided an opportunity for me to meet a huge group of Christian friends. And we really stuck together through our whole college experience. But until I met them, I was like, okay, I don't want to really compromise in my relationship with God. I want to keep up the habit of going to church. So what a lot of churches will do is they will send vans to the college campuses around their city or town and they will actually pick up students and take them to church. So there was a particular spot on campus where I knew that the church vans would come and I would just get on a van and go to church. And I did that pretty consistently throughout my college experience. And once I began to make friends, we all went to church together, but it wasn't easy. I would say when I first started out doing that, it was a very lonely experience because I, the friends that I had starting out in college, they weren't big church goers. So I would go to church by myself, but I really am really grateful that I did that because it really cemented my relationship with the Lord. I don't want to say all of that to say that I um, it was so easy for me. When I got to college, I realized that, you know, I had a relationship with God and in a lot of ways I had a strong relationship with God, but I only learned to cultivate my relationship with God within the place that I grew up. And so when I went to college and not everybody was accepting of my faith or I would wear Jesus apparel shirts, I wore one shirt that just said Jesus on it. And I walked around campus not thinking anything about it. And then people were really people were literally mocking me they were making fun of my shirt they were like oh yeah jesus yeah and it was very embarrassing for me and i realized that my relationship with god wasn't as deep as i thought it was because i literally took a jacket and covered up my shirt so that was a one another thing that like drove it home for me that i really needed to stay close to god because i realized that my relationship with god wasn't as strong as i thought it was when i entered college because i was so easily embarrassed when people kind of came against me who didn't believe what I believed or would mock me. The next thing I would say is stay connected. This is going to be a big thing throughout this video. Stay connected and there are people in college who live for God. So when I got connected to my campus ministry, I made sure I hung out with them. We went to the CAV together. We had Bible study together. Um, some of us went to the same churches in our city. And so they really, really became my community of friends. And staying connected to a group of friends who are Christian does not mean that you cannot have fun. It means that maybe your fun won't consist of wild parties and drinking and just doing other things that really aren't godly, but you can have so much fun. If I have some footage, then I will find it and give y'all some examples of how much fun we had. And we learned that we could have guilt-free fun. We could be young and follow God and have so much fun and truly enjoy our college experience without all the guilt that came along with doing things that especially we had no business doing. But we definitely weren't perfect in it. Like no 18, 19 year old is gonna be perfect in it. And also no person is going to be perfect in their life with God, even if they're walking with people in their walk. I remember one time my freshman year, none of my friends, well, I don't wanna say none of them, but a good portion of my friends, we kind of had similar backgrounds growing up or we just were all, we just believed in God and we actually walked that out. But we wanted to go to a kickback, which is like a party. We were like, dang, a lot of us haven't been and we just wanna go, we wanna experience it. So we are like, okay, let's go, like let's go, but let's go all together. Let's make sure it's safe. And so we had convinced each other to go to this party. All of us were completely uncomfortable. People were walking in that we knew and they were like, why are you here? Like someone literally asked me like, Hannah, why are you here? And it was just literally so embarrassing because it was kind of, it went against everything that we kind of stood for, but we wanted to have that experience. And we ended up leaving really early and just, we were just like, okay, we're not gonna do that again. I'm definitely not encouraging you to, but if you do try something, please just like be safe. If the curiosity is getting the best of you, please be safe. Please be safe and, and also just try to talk it out with somebody before you go through with it because experiences are valuable, but at the end of the day, like if you know better, sometimes it's it's best to stick with knowing better. So the next thing I would say is don't expect to not have 
a community of people. Don't expect to not have godly friends. Don't expect to not be connected to any kind of campus ministry or church and maintain a good solid foundation with God. It's going to be extremely, extremely hard. Now, I'm not saying that it's impossible, but a lot of times in our walk with God, the ways that we are strengthened and encouraged is actually being able to walk alongside people as they go through their walk with God as well, because our walk with God is very peculiar. It's not something that comes naturally. Naturally, we want to fit in with the world. Naturally, we may want to do all the wild stuff. Naturally, we may want to live a life contrary to the life that God wants us to live. And so it's very, very important to have people there with you. A cool example that I have is, so a lot of my friends, we we attended, like I said, we either attended the same churches or we attended the same Bible study. And then um, we reached our junior year, we actually formed our own Bible study. And it was so sweet. It was called Friends Bible Study at first. And we would literally just meet at sometimes 10 11 o'clock at night and just study the bible and it was really cool because at first it was just my friends we were just like you know what we want to get into our word more so we're going to meet every saturday night or every other saturday night and just study the word and one of my friends actually began to invite other people to bible study and it just became a whole thing and so we were called we called ourselves friends bible study because it was literally just a bunch of friends meeting and having bible study and it just became a weekly thing and then we changed the name to campus invasion and we were a thriving bible study for the last two years that i was on campus and it was really cool we saw a lot of people come to the lord we saw we got to walk with a lot of people and i'll even put an example of my friend glody teaching it was cool because we also got to build each other up glody is actually one of my friends who i met i was a sophomore he was a freshman and he had newly started walking with God when I met him. And it was just so cool to walk with him and to see him grow in his relationship with God. And then eventually he taught at one of our friends Bible studies or campus invasion. Well, if you were in high school as a male, you knew how it felt to get all the females and you were like, cool kids, come to my male right here. Um, and I just wanted to be surrounded by that at that time. It was just something that I found myself being comfortable with. So when I go back home for the break and I'd be at the crib, I'd just be like, so, what's the move? You know, like, you know, I'm like, no, I'm changed, I'm changed. I can't handle more. I'm saying, and I can't, I can't do that anymore. So it was kind of a hard moment where I had to sit back and God had to isolate me really to find like the true me and find myself through on my walk with God. And I'm glad He was able to do that. Mm -hmm. um, it was just really cool to see each other's growth and just looking back on those moments. It's just so wild because, you know, I'm 26 now, still not old, but I'm much older than what I was at 18, 19, 20, 21. But we were so on fire for God and we achieved so much for the Lord when we were there. We even had a huge prayer circle on campus, like in front of the calf, because there were a lot of students one year who were just committing suicide. And we were like, wow, like the devil is really waging war against our campus. And so we really, really wanted to to go to bat for our campus and, and really pray. And like I said, I just want to stress that like it wasn't all rainbows and butterflies. Like when I first got to campus, I was definitely found that I was ashamed of Jesus Christ and I tried to cover him up. But I quickly realized like, no, I, I need to continue to cultivate this relationship that I have with God. Y'all. I do think it's a matter of location. Like some colleges may not be in a good location that has churches, or you may be at a college where you only have chapel and there's not that many churches around you. But that's why I think it's so it's important to consider all of these things when you're choosing a college. Just really make sure that you're choosing somewhere that's in a good location, a campus that you love, a college that you love, um, that you can really, really grow at. So the final piece of advice that I would just tell you is just don't be afraid to start something new. And clearly you're not afraid to a certain extent if you're if you're going to college and you're venturing into that that whole thing, but don't be afraid to start something new. Don't be afraid if you don't see something on campus, if you don't see a Christian organization on campus or if you are not finding a group that's catering to your needs, like don't be afraid to start something new your college experience doesn't have to be full of regret it doesn't have to be full of guilt it can really be super clean fun 
and it doesn't mean you have to be perfect but it literally means that you're striving to live for god while you're in college and there's nothing lame about that there there's nothing too soon about that if you want to live for god in college so yeah guys thank you for watching this video i hope it was pretty easy to follow because i know i said a lot but yeah thank y'all for watching and i hope y'all hey y'all so in the middle of the video i told y'all i was going to put in some fun footage from when i was in college and i found this video that i made about three years ago and it's not really good quality but i'm going to put it in here and so that y'all can just see some fun moments from my college experience so yeah mm -hmm.